All right, hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Healthy Moms Matter. If this is your first time here, my name is Tiffany. I am a boy mom of three boys, I'm married, and I am a working mama. Um, on this channel, I share everything between self-care, beauty, fashion, mom tips, you name it. I just had a baby almost six months ago, so I'm currently sharing a lot of six month tips, tricks, things of that nature. So without further ado, I know you guys have seen the title. I finally got my freezer after six months of procrastinating, got my deep freezer. I can finally transfer all of my milk that I've been storing in my small freezer above my fridge to the basement into the deep freezer. So I'm going to be taking you guys along, showing you guys how I organize my bags, um, what I do to transport it down there, what that looks like, how much milk I have currently, um, things of that nature. So disclaimer, um, this video can be triggering for some moms seeing a huge supply of milk. Um, I just want to let you guys know there is absolutely no need for a huge frozen milk supply. Um, and I want to say that again, there is no need for a huge milk supply. And I don't want you guys to look at this video and think, wow, like I need that. I need that like her because you don't. The reason why I stocked up on frozen milk is because I had Crohn's disease. My last pregnancy, um, I actually had a flare right after birth and I was put into the hospital, given meds, had to get surgery and I could not breastfeed. So that whole experience made me really want to be able to provide milk to my baby this time if I was to ever have a flare again or if I ever had to be put on meds or have surgery where I couldn't breastfeed. So I wanted to make sure that I had enough supply um, to kind of backfill if that were ever the case. So if you don't have a medical condition, if your baby is happy and healthy, um, if your supply is feeding your baby throughout the day just enough, you are fine. I don't, I absolutely don't want you guys to think that this is something that you absolutely need. This is just my situation. And for those that are in my situation that just so happen to have a huge milk supply for whatever reason, overproducing, um, want to have a good backup because of a diagnosis or whatever the case may be, I want you guys to see how I organize my milk supply, what I do, the things that I've been going through, and yeah, so without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys, here we go. So here's my freezer situation. This is what it has come to. I have been forced to finally buy a deep freezer after procrastinating for six months. I cannot fit nothing else in here. Like it is packed. So I had to get a deep freezer and I'm going to take you guys along for the ride to show you how I transport all of this milk into the freezer, how I package everything. You see that I kind of started packaging them in these like frozen storage bags, these freezer bags. Um, I started this like back in November. November is the last time that I packaged anything like this because I ran out of room. So December's milk is all down here. January's milk is up there somewhere. Um, and we won't even talk about February's milk. I think February's milk is like stuck in between like chicken nuggets and pasta. I have no idea what's going on. But you guys are going to see how I organize everything, how I put stuff together. The newer milk at the bottom of the freezer. So all the milk that I have pumped this month will go at the bottom and all of my older milk that I pumped back in September will go up top. So if I ever need to dip into my stash, my older milk is what I wanna use first because I think milk stored in the deep freezer lasts for a year. Actually, the thing about these freezer bags that I started using, so as you can see, I started using the Lansino, Lan, Lansino, I never know how to pronounce them. So I started using these freezer bags, these breast milk bags. Um, and then I started researching and realized that a lot of people were complaining about them leaking when they would take them out the freezer and thaw them. And I said, I did not want that issue. So I researched a little bit more and found these on Amazon. These are thick. They hold way more than the Lansano. The Lansano, I think, hold only, yeah, they hold five ounces. The baby lemon bags hold eight ounces. 
I never fill them up that high because, of course, milk expands when they freeze. So I, the highest I'll go is like six ounces. I do have some seven and a half in here, but that was pushing it. Um, so I have, this one's a six. This one's a January bag, but they're thick. And what I like about them is on the side here, you can cut it. And once you thaw it, all you have to do is pour the milk out like that. So it kind of has a spout. So I use these now. Um, and on the back, you can actually see, it gives you some CDC milk storage guidelines. So it says freezer, you can store uh, six months is best, but up to 12 months is acceptable. So once he turns a year, then hopefully I would have used that milk by then. Um, so yeah, so this is what the situation is right now. We're going to go ahead and take this milk out, transport it to the basement, put these loose milk bags into freezer um, Ziploc bags, label them, organize everything, and get my freezer back. All right, guys, so I kind of wanted to show you my deep freezer like what it actually looks like before we put the milk in it. I went to Best Buy or online and chose this freezer. It had tons of great ratings. Um, it's the Insignia freezer. This is the five foot one. There was a seven foot one and I think a nine foot one, but we have like a small space down here. This is in our laundry room and I didn't want um, anything too big, so. As you can see at the bottom, they have the little control button. You can choose the cold, um, colder, which is the recommended setting that I have it on now, and then coldest. Um, and so it just sits up like this. And you open it, it actually has like a little light. So if I come down here and at night and need to store any milk, I can have that to see everything. Um, and this is what it looks like on the inside. So it's pretty deep. Um, it's already cold. I've been letting it sit for about two to three hours already. So it's nice and ready for the milk to go in here. Here's like a little tray right here. Um, I'll probably use this to store like my freshly pumped milk um, until it gets like flat. And then I'll store them all into like storage Ziploc bags once I get enough. Um, and then the rest will just go down in there. So that's that. Um, I wanted to make sure I showed you guys what it looked like beforehand so you can get an idea of how much space is in there, how I'm filling it up and what it looks like, so. guys so we're going to try and move as quick as possible with frozen milk you want to have it not thaw out so right now i separated them by december and then over here is january um it's like in a bowl on this side and then this is like filled up in my sink one half of my sink um and as you can see here i like to write myself notes on bags like if something significant happened that day um like first day back at work um today was a stressful day didn't have a lot of milk um on some of these i do have like mom was mommy was sick today or mommy's throat hurt so that you know if he does have like a sore throat or if he has a cold or anything then i'll know to go to that bag and provide him with a little bit of extra antibodies along with that i do have a bag here labeled like sick or covid milk back when i had covid i labeled them all with the covid plus or when i even when i got like the booster i labeled it um, filled with antibodies this is like super milk so if he does ever get the vaccine again um if he does ever get COVID or, you know, has a strong virus, I can go to this milk and use this. Strangely enough, like, you see this green tint 
all of like the COVID plus milk that I stored has like this greenish tint to it, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, and that's how you know, like it's loaded with anybody. So I will save this. And if he ever gets sick, this will be, you know, kind of like a extra antibody boost that I'll use for him. two dates these guys are gonna help me log all of this the rest of this downstairs so this is november october Oof, back here september somewhere so yeah we're gonna lug all of this stuff downstairs and put it into the deep freezer all right guys here is the current situation we have all of the newer bags below the sick milk bag here just in case i need to access it a little quicker um, then we have bags here and we have bags on top of the laundry, uh, on top of the wash. So going to sort these, um, by month, putting the oldest ones on top and the newer ones on the bottom and, uh, yeah, almost done. All right, guys. So we have it all in there. Finally, all the milk has been transported and bagged and organized sick milk here um all the way to the bottom i think there are there's three rows so down there we have february and what was last month january um this row is like october november ish and then this row is september so there's three rows so far i was worried that all of my milk wouldn't fit but this thing has a lot of space in it so um, I still have enough to complete this third row. I still have this little tray here. And then if I lay like, if I do bags and lay them like this up top, I have room for another row if needed. But my hope is to eventually start using some of this milk, um, you know, hopefully to mix like in his, you know, foods or to start giving him, um, to try and slow down on pumping, um, or whatever the case may be, hopefully I can start using this milk and I don't have to buy another deep freezer, but we will continue stacking them like this. Um, I do obviously have to finish out the month of February because I still have, you know, some bags that I'll pump through February and then um, we'll see how it goes until then. So yeah, this is the situation. Um, everything is organized, packed, labeled. This... Um, let me see. I think I have an early September one. Yeah, I think this is the. I think this is the early one. But the, this is the milk that has like the colostrum in it when I first started pumping. So this is like the one, the milk that is full of antibodies with the colostrum, like the first milk that comes in. So those bags, I honestly might not use right away, just because colostrum milk has like a lot of antibodies in it. Um, I'll probably add it to like this bag here once I do get to it. Um, it has like, you know, full of different things that the baby needs when they're first born, but it's also good to give babies or infants or toddlers even if they get sick, runny noses, viruses, um, anything like that, it's good to give them the colostrum milk. So I may say that until he gets sick, but any of this other milk, I'm hoping we can plow right through it so that I don't have to buy another freezer or think about another freezer situation so this fits perfectly in here now i love this little light um i can see deep down inside without having to get a flashlight there's three rows um and on this side i'll obviously stack up my sick milk here and then any extra february milk that i have until i'm able to have enough to bag it then it goes in here so this is how it looks so if you guys have any questions about bags, um, if you have questions about how I organize, what I label with, um, what my system was, where I got my freezer, I will try to link everything below. But if you do have any further questions, feel free to sit, leave me a comment below and I'll try and get back to you um, as soon as I can. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.
All right, guys, so I hope that was helpful. I hope that you guys were able to see like my process, how I've been labeling the bags, what type of bags I've been using. If you guys have any questions or if you want to know where I got certain things from, I tried to link everything that I could at the bottom. But if you have any further questions, feel free to ask and I'll try and get back to you guys as soon as possible. All right, thanks guys so much. If you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe and join in for the next video. See you guys soon. Bye.